Investors are worried about a repeat of 2008 and wonder if they should keep their hard-earned savings in cash, especially with the election, the most negative news cycle in history. Few can support or fully support either presidential candidate. Instead of worrying about when to own stocks, we prefer to take this approach. We'll buy great businesses at or below their fair value because we know they will fare well whatever happens in the market. When we hold cash, it's not because we're trying to time the market. It's because we don't have any stocks that meet our stringent selection criteria. We do not want for our clients to be like investor A, who buys at the top and then is, ends up selling at the bottom. Nor do we want them to be like investor B, who didn't buy at the top, didn't buy at the bottom, and then regrets not buying as things seem to improve. Many investors feel stocks are overvalued. They might be right. The problem is low interest rates. Low interest rates are a funny thing because on the one hand, they keep the cost of business, of doing business low, which is good. But on the other hand, they cause unintended consequences. One key unintended consequence to low interest rates is they make it easier for struggling companies to stay in business. Low rates make it easy to build capacity. More capacity means more competition, resulting in lower profits. This has happened before. In Japan, the Ministry of International Trade and Ministry had unlimited free money to lend to companies. With free money, Japanese companies became very profitable for a while. They made so much money that in the mid-1980s, Americans were worried Japan was going to buy America. This continued until 1989 when Mitsubishi brought the Rockefeller Center in New York. The Japanese stock market did so well, it became nearly half of the total value of world stocks. But cheap money leads to inflation. By 1989, inflation started to get out of control, leading the Japanese central bank to raise interest rates. This sudden rise in interest rates caused the Japanese stock market to drop 35% in 1990 and to languish for decades. Not all companies fared so poorly in Japan. One company, Fanuc, which makes computerized CNC mules, fared very well, producing excellent returns to investors. Fanuc makes some of the best industrial robots in the world. The company has low costs because it uses robots to make robots. Fanuc is a great business. Great businesses are more profitable than competitors because they have a wide moat to keep competitors away. The moats can be wide based on any combination of factors that helps them have lower costs, command higher prices, or both. We're not worried about what the markets do. We want to make sure that we own great businesses that will fare well, whatever the markets do and have cash to buy great businesses when prices fall. We're excited we have the ability to offer stock portfolios of these great businesses for less than the cost of the average mutual fund. We also have relationships with the best portfolio managers in the world so we can own undiscovered great businesses and especially great businesses overseas that we can't find on our own. Worry-free portfolio management is about making the right decisions with your money so you can avoid making the number one regret seniors have on their deathbed, which is, that they spend so much of their life worrying. To learn more about how we construct a portfolio of great businesses, complete the form on the website below.